Many law firms have a poor understanding of the lifetime value of a client relationship. They mistakenly peg their marketing costs to acquiring a new client, performing new legal services for that client, and once the task at hand is done, they go back out and get more new clients. The hardest thing to do is to get new clients. The easiest and most profitable thing to do is get satisfied clients coming back when other new legal problems emerge. The correct way to calculate your social media return on investment is not on the initial cost of getting a client, but establishing a longer period of client engagement that leads to longer retainers and more billable hours. Let's do a, a hypothetical example. Let's say that you're an attorney specializing in IRS tax audit defense and that you can charge $5,000 a retainer from which you deduct $250 per billable hour. At $250 per hour, the retainer pays for 20 hours of work. But your average case size, clients facing tax deficiencies of $10,000 or more, let's say in this case, is 40 additional hours or $10,000. The total value for our average standalone client is therefore $15,000 in this example. But if you kept in contact with your satisfied clients through email updates, blogging, Facebook postings, invitations to special seminars, etc., clients will be coming to you for other legal services. Like, let's say as an example, contract litigation, real estate closings, asset protection, personal liability issues, estate and elder care, as an example. The lifetime value of a happy, engaged client in terms of earnings can become exponential. There is also a huge boost in your referrals from satisfied clients. Certainly, the potential of doubling or tripling earnings per client can go from, in our example, $15,000 to $40,000 or more per client, and the lifetime value of one client can extend from less than one year to five, ten years, or even higher, with no additional acquisition costs. Speaking of acquisition costs, the old school way of marketing to acquire, as an example, tax audit clients, is typically to scour the local daily register for small business leads, specifically listings for tax liens, deficiency notices, pending bankruptcy, etc. Then the leads are placed in a database and a form letter is sent out. The results? A high fixed monthly cost that's incurred on a regular basis with a dismal response rate typically 0.5% to 1.5% per thousand mailed, old school ways of marketing are very inefficient and costly. And it gets worse because of the poor response rate and long lag time the people you're contacting already have representation and because you're broadcasting to everyone in range and haven't established credibility or trust, you've been dismissed as another st stereotypical lawyer trolling for dollars simply because they don't know you. But let's say for the sake of argument that someone does respond and you take them on as a client because you need to cover your overhead. Now you're vulnerable to taking on a client from hell. A client from hell being defined as someone who has hidden agendas, can't pay your fees in the middle of the case, is difficult to control or make outrageous and unethical demands. Clients from hell cases usually end badly with either you suing them or they sue you. Who needs to waste money and the headaches and stress of dealing with even occasionally a client from hell? Moral of the story, develop a new school online marketing strategy that both pays for itself, also known as a self-liquidating offer, and boosts your marketing budget ROI by extending the lifetime value of each of your clients. You'll see exponential growth in your earnings because you're engaging them in top of mind awareness through social media. In our next video, we're going to look at a law firm that does exactly that. They understand the financial lifetime value of a client engagement and take a closer look at how we use social media to become one of the preeminent law firms in the United States. Until then, carpe diem!